here at Bear Valley Visitor Center. We just arrived here at Point Reyes National Seashore. The drive here is so beautiful. Don't miss it. You will see some redwoods. There's a lot of bikers, so be careful with the bikers as well. Watch out for them. It's very country. I would suggest driving with the windows down because you smell the air and it smells so good. The first thing you should do when you get here is to go to Bear Valley Visitor Center because you get to know where you are, things to do, and like buy some goodies like stickers and stuff. Dogs are allowed here and there's a little museum to get to know the surroundings of this national seashore. Behind me you can see Point Reyes National Seashore Sand Dunes and they're trying to maintain it by getting rid of ice plants and European beach grass so the flowers and the ecosystem will continue. Lighthouse of Point Reyes National Park. It's quite four mile going here, but going down in very might be hard. It's a 30-story building. So it's an option if you want to see the lighthouse up close, you have to like do the 30-story building. But it's worth it. We're here now at the Muir Woods National Monument and to get here you need reservation for the parking so don't forget to get reservation for the parking um, I forgot how much it costs, probably $8 but even though it's like you have reservations, parking is not that easy you may have to go around several times also to check in, there's quite a bit of a queue going in to check in, it's $15 per person but if you have the annual pass, you're good But you have to go back up again and that's gonna be hard, right? But it's worth it because just the smell of the pine trees is amazing. It's like a scent you want to smell like a long time. It's like really nice and like the trees are also nice. And plus you get the view of this and the golden sea. Point National Historic Park as you can see from the background it's a good place to take photos and also know the history about uh, the Golden Gate Bridge this is the only brick fort here in California it's such a good place to know History actually this fort defended San Francisco during World War II and now it's a historic site by the national parks. We are now here at Baker Bridge. This is a cool spot actually for locals. We can see a lot of locals here hanging out. It's kind of windy. 
not a perfect day for a beach but some people are still swimming and like getting some tan I don't know how they do it they must be pros right here is a good side of the Pacific Coast and also you could get to view the Golden Gate Bridge if you have the time they have a three mile hike here I guess it's pretty good it's called the Battery Chamberlain if you want to see the disappearing dawn the Battery Chamberlain is a good place to see because uh, there's so much history to learn from here Another great place to watch out for here in SF, one of the National Park Service's place to go to is the Lands and Lookout. This is a cool place because it has history. So Mr. Sutro, he used to be one of the richest men here. He earned like $5 million, which is equivalent to $120 million of today's money. And he bought several lands here. He owned like one twelfth of the land here and he invested and developed the land. It wasn't that great because he used dynamite and the landscape changed. Anyways, he made a super bath and Cliff House was made here. Unfortunately, Cliff House closed during this pandemic. It didn't survive, but hopefully someone else will buy it. I know the family is trying to negotiate with the National Park Services, but they weren't successful about it. But hopefully someone else will buy it or they will be successful in their negotiation. We will have Cliff House again and we will have a nice dining area here at the Land's End. It is aptly named because it is literally the Land's End here in San Francisco. Francisco is the westernmost part of the land. Our last stop, Alcatraz Island, is part of the National Park Services under Golden Gate National Recreation Area. This small island was once a fort, a military prison, and a maximum security federal penitentiary. We're here at Fisherman's Bar. Um, we're having our first meal of the entire day. We're having, uh, what are we having? Clam chowder and fish. Yeah, and it's so good right here. I like the bread of the fish sandwich. It's very soft. And the clam chowder sourdough is pretty good. I would recommend this place. And also, it's very hard to park here at Fisherman's Wharf. We weren't lucky, as lucky this time, but there's a way to do it. If you are eating um, in the vicinity around, you can get free parking for one hour. Or you will be paying $3 every 15 minutes, maximum $60. So your choice. Hope you enjoyed Golden Gate National Recreation Area National Parks. Don't forget to like and subscribe.